and welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to do a whole monochromatic eye look based on the brand new Pantone Universe Color of the Year for 2018. They named it last night. I believe it's Saturday, December 9th, and I believe they announced it yesterday or the day before. It is ultraviolet, and that's a fun color. You can do a lot of things with that. I have a lot of purple makeup in my stash, so I decided to dig some of it out. I haven't played with it in a long time, so it's a great excuse to be a little creative and just go with it. So I created a really smoky halo eye and did kind of like a weird concoction on the lips with the products that I had. Used an eyeliner for the lips. Feeling a little dry right now. <laughs> but um, you can certainly do a different look or a different lip if you want this whole look to be a little bit more wearable. But I really wanted to do the whole thing from top to bottom in the ultraviolet flare. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to go into my Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I have been really, really liking this this time of year. I've used it in a lot of videos recently because it gives a really, really nice healthy glow to the skin without making it look overly shiny. This is just a little sample size, but it has a really nice like tropical scent and I've just been gravitating towards it a lot recently. Sometimes in the place of my normal moisturizer or in the place of a primer, I'll just pop this on just because it gives the skin an all over glow. And it works really nicely under every foundation that I tried it with, so. Okay, so once that's had a chance to settle into the skin a little bit, I'm gonna grab my Sephora Collection Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I did do a video on this. If you're interested, I'll pop it up. It's really, really good, I have to say. But you just have to shake it up really, really good, and then I'm gonna spray it directly on to my F80 Kabuki Brush by Sigma. And you really kinda have to coat the brush pretty thoroughly. And then I'm just going to pat it onto the skin. So this foundation looks really, really light at first, but as it settles into the skin, it really darkens quite a bit and it's a much closer match for my skin. Okay, so now that that foundation is on, I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick in the color 128 and I'm just gonna use this to contour my face. I really like to use this to contour because it's super natural and easy to do. It's very, very blendable. A little bit hard to get super um, precise on the nose, but typically does the job. And I'm just pressing that in with that same Kabuki brush. So just make sure that contour is really, really thoroughly blended. You don't want any weird patches or anything like that. Just take your time and check out all the angles of your face just to make sure that everything is nice and melded together. Okay, so for concealer, I'm actually going to be reviewing the Urban Decay, the new Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer, so I'm going to do that in a different video. It's going to be a one minute review. So once my concealer is done, I will be back. Okay, so now that the concealer is done, I'm going to go ahead in and set my foundation with the MAC Pro Longwear Pressed Foundation. This is in the color medium. And I like to just use this IT Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Brush and just press it mainly through the center of the face. Okay, for bronzer, I'm going to go in with my trusty Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. As you guys know, this is my favorite bronzer. And I'm just going to warm up the cheekbones and hit the perimeters of my face. So for blush today, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Face Shaper Blush in Pore Vita, if I can figure out how to open it. Eh. It's a really, really pretty, like super bright pink, vibrant color. So if you just put a little bit on and build it up, it's a really, really nice shade. It looks like it would be overpowering in the pan, but it's actually not bad on the face. For highlighter today, I'm gonna go in with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Conceited. 
If you are a big highlighter person and you have not checked out these um, Diamond Glow Powders yet, you definitely, definitely should. First of all, they last forever. And second of all, they create the most beautiful highlight, almost like a wet look. They're just really, really stunning. And like everything else, if you use it wet, you can really build it up to like an insanely bright highlight. But I just like to do a little dusting on the tops of my cheekbones. And of course my, I like to do my cupid's bow with my finger. Just for a little bit more precision. I'm gonna do a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I have been getting into nose contouring a little bit more. It's something before I was just really sort of intimidated by and every time I tried it, it wouldn't work. And it would just sort of, I felt like make my nose look worse. So I've been just trying to practice now and again and try to get better at it. I'm gonna do some baking in a second and I, I find that the baking piece actually makes a huge difference. So for that, I'm going to use, as much as I lament to use this because it's so messy, it really is a good kind of no color setting powder. So I just like to pour a little bit in the cap, a little bit always turns to a lot, and then there's white powder everywhere and people ask questions. <laughs> but I like to just take a little bit of this on my beauty blender and just carve out the cheekbones, clean up that bronzer. Even though I didn't necessarily do a lot of contouring, this still helps just to clean everything up and give your face more shape and structure. And then I like to do it sort of right alongside where I put that cream, darker cream shade, but this powder is literally the messiest thing ever. Okay, so I think that's it for the face. I'm going to quickly do my brows. I have been doing my brows the same every video lately, so I'm not gonna do them on camera just to save a little time. And then we will jump into the eye makeup. Okay, so I'm pretty pleased with how the one eye turned out, so I'm gonna do my best to replicate that. I'm gonna start by going in with the Morphe 35O palette and just using a couple cool tone browns just to warm up the crease so that everything blends really nicely. And for this step, just use a fluffy tapered brush and a really light hand and just kind of buff everything in, just barely tapping your brush into the eyeshadow pan. I make the mistake a lot of using too much and then my eyeshadow gets patchy. So what I try and do is just take a little tiny bit at a time and build up really slowly and use big sort of circular motions. And then everything seems to just diffuse as you go. Do recommend it. Okay, now I'm gonna be going in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And this palette is so awesome. If you really like bright colors, I highly suggest, if they still sell this palette, which I'm pretty sure they do, I suggest picking it up. It's all pressed pigments. And whenever you're working with a pressed pigment, you know you're gonna have intense pigmentation. And you always have the flexibility of using the pigment wet to get the absolute most bang for your buck. I actually, this color is pigmented enough that I don't have to use it wet, which is really nice, but I absolutely could if I wanted it to be even more sort of explosive, if you will. This is like the perfect shade. This is ultraviolet. I actually had a little bit of trouble. I have a lot of purple makeup, but I don't wear purple often. And I was trying to pinpoint what ultraviolet is exactly because there are so many different shades of every color. You have to really narrow it down to what matches the color that the Pantone universe people were going for. But I think this is a pretty darn close match. So I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit and take Rapture, which is a gray toned light pink shade Little tip, take a small piece of paper towel if you don't want to get fallout on your makeup and it will catch everything. So I just wet my brush a little bit and I'm just kind of painting that right through the center of the lid. Halo eyes are some of my favorite eye makeup looks to do. I think they're one of the ones I'm best at. I'm not like 
an eyeshadow savate and this is just one that I feel like most of the time turns out because there's a lot of times that I do makeup and I just I'm so critical and such a perfectionist that many times I just don't love the way it looks but typically halo eyes I'm pretty happy with so now I'm going in with Provocateur, which is a beautiful glitter shade, again from the Vice palette, and I wet my brush, and I'm just gently patting that through the center. And so for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with, um, let's see here, I'm going to go back in with Urban from the Electric palette, and that same little detailer brush that actually came with the um, Electric palette. And I'm just going to be placing this on the outside corner and inside corner. Okay. Now I'm going back in with Vice, and I'm taking Vice, which is a dark shimmery purple, and I'm just going to be going over that. Again, just the inner and outer. You're basically mirroring everything you've done on the top lid. Now I'm going in with Rapture again. Right on uh, center there. And going to wet my brush. Take Provocateur one more time. And just hit that right in the middle. Okay, now for the waterline, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil and just hit that middle area there. I did a little Instagram video on seven ways to use this pencil, so if you're interested in buying it, you should definitely go check that out because it is a very multi-use product. Now I'm going in with the Exaggerate Rimmel Full Color Eye Definer in the color Aubergine, and I'm just going to, again, mirror the top and do the outer the inner. I find this step also really accentuates the halo effect because it's kind of just fully consistent from the top to the bottom. For under the eye, I'm going to do a matte highlight again with my Pro Pencil. Just a little bit because you don't want to disrupt the powder eyeshadow. Anytime you're mixing creams and powders, you have to be careful because sometimes they do not mesh well together. They don't play well together, so to speak. So I'm just keeping that right up above just to accentuate the arch. Okay, so this is the makeup. I'm going to pop on some lashes. But I have been dying to use the Nicole Guerrero and Ilork collaboration. Okay, so to finish off for the lips, I'm going to start with my Wonder Cosmetics Prime and Behold. This is an eye and lip primer, and I find it actually makes a big difference, especially if you're using products that really aren't meant to be on your lips. Okay, so I don't actually have a perfect match for this eye color, so I'm just going to try to blend a few things together and hopefully it'll work. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Formula in Sprinkle. It's a really pretty like fuchsia shade. It's not exactly ultraviolet, but I'm hoping when I mix some other things in there, it'll be better. Okay, so I do have this, I think this is from Lime Crime. Yeah, this is a Lime Crime purple liner. And I'm gonna try to place that over top and hopefully kinda bring in that ultraviolet because this color is definitely ultraviolet. Kind of two cool colors together, really. Okay guys, so that completes the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And please comment down below and give me any suggestions. I definitely take them into consideration. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.